Greetings to the NAM community around the world. This is a new broadcast of NAM Español, the YouTube show that tells you, in English Spanish, everything that happens in the NAM blockchain ecosystem. I'm your host, Alexis Trujillo. You'll all be wondering why is this broadcast in English? Well, sometimes it will be this way. I do hope you like the contents anyway. Today we'll talk about IODLT, an enterprise we recently reviewed as part of our ecosystem that got an endorsement from NAM Ventures. In few words, IODLT plans to build and program physical devices that interact with the NAM blockchain in order to manage and control some processes. So, from gas pumps to medical clinics, the NAM blockchain could really help to improve people's lives and businesses. Well, and we are very pleased to have in line our very own Bader Joseph. Bader is the CEO of IODLT. How are you, Bader? Welcome to NAM Español. Good. Thank you so much, Alexis. Thank you for having, uh, um, having me on here. No, no, man. Thank you for, for, for coming here. And, and I see, okay, and that I hope I'm not offending you, but you're pretty young and that's fine because it's some sort of, a, it's, it's a way to encourage young people to join our movement. How old are you, Batter? Uh, I turned 18 this year. 18 this year? Okay, looking good, okay, that's fine, man. Okay, 18 years and you already have a company working in blockchain. Okay. How comes you are working so young with blockchain, and especially with NEM blockchain. How comes that? Uh, so it's actually kind of an, um, an interesting journey. I started taking these courses online for different, um, you know, creating iOS apps, Android apps, that sort of thing. And the company actually started getting into blockchain courses. And one of the courses they um, started teaching was NEM. So now I grabbed that. Um, and that's how I started get and that's how I get started with them. Uh, I started using using the technology and actually after having used Ethereum and Tendermint and a couple of the others, I found them to just be and really kind of the most fun to use. I could take an idea and just start uh, coding it right away um, without having to worry too much about setup or um, or things like that. Okay, but but you you actually you you began yourself as a coder, okay. Right. What were you familiar with? What 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 what, what languages were, were you were you coding with? Uh, mainly at first I was doing usually um, I was I would do like Swift for iOS. So for Apple apps, I would use Swift to create some iOS apps, and then from there I got into JavaScript and web development, uh, which is mainly what Nem uses um, and its ecosystem. Okay, let's talk about IODLT. What does it do? So basically, the whole idea of the company is um, connecting the real world with blockchain. So we're taking Internet of Things devices, sensors, and allowing that data to be directly put on the blockchain and secured by the blockchain. Um, and this way, we avoid a lot of the security issues that have that have risen in the last years um, to do with IoT. Uh, that, that's fine. And now, and now speaking about those use cases and and, and bringing blockchain to the real world. What are those use cases you're, you're planning on? What are you going to do with that? Yeah, so, you know, we, of course, spend a lot of time thinking of these use cases. It's probably one of the most, one of the more um, fun things are thinking of these use cases. But I think one of the ones that everyone has seen recently was to do with um, gas station skimmers, which especially, you know, especially here in, in Florida, we have a lot of that going on. Actually, that's the, that's the, that could be the jewel of a crown if, the, if that if that initiative could 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 take off. How comes is that you you find out that you could apply Internet of Things and our blockchain in, to solving that problem of the skinning? Well, because I already have worked with them and saw how easy it is to use. You know, it's because of the direct connection. IoT devices already make API calls. So we can simply make API calls to Catapult and the blockchain in the same way. Yeah, so internet, basically we streamline and automate um, the process using using Internet of Things. And then the blockchain is for the security and for reporting on the ledger. Recording information about the gas pumps and the various activities. Has it been accessed illicitly? 
what time has someone went and repaired it? Did someone gain access to it without permission? No, that's a fine idea. But can you please comment us what else are you planning to do? And besides that idea, okay, what's next for IODLT? Right, so I think a big one um, definitely is in, in within the medical industry, in the healthcare industry. We actually have a clinic that we're going to pilot test with um, Q2 of 2020, where we're going to be um, testing with them IoT devices that will take patient vitals um, automatically and upload them to a kind of a universal patient profile on the blockchain. Because right now, at least here, we have this problem where when the patient comes in, they have to deal with a lot of paperwork. Um, the clinic has to go through a lot of processing for each patient. So what we're aiming to do is aggregate a lot of data coming from Uh, smartphones from other IoT devices within the clinic, like kiosk type devices that take patient vitals, aggregate them into one universal profile for the patient so the doctor can easily pull it up within seconds, a swipe, tap of a button, and just view whatever history that that patient has, their past surgeries, the prescriptions, treatments, allergies, uh, things of that nature. Well, thank you, Batters, so very much for being with us here in M Español. Please, if you have some final thoughts for not just the Spanish-speaking community of NAM, but the whole NAM community, please feel free to say so, man. Yeah, really, I would say just uh, keep following on the NAM progress, especially don't think, you know, that just because the coin isn't doing well doesn't mean the, the technology is not doing well. The technology is very doing extremely well and i encourage you to go and read the new documentation that's been put out daily well thank you better for this words um, this is okay this is the final part of our show we invite you to follow us on, on our social media and send us your comments because they help us to keep growing stronger and better my name is alexis trujillo and i say for now on goodbye Thank you.